Oh, yo. We got two Mario RPGs in a row. That's a that's a good uh, that's a, that's a, that's a good uh, sign. I like this song a lot. Now, why is this? Is this the same? It's, it shows me is this being. Oh, I guess it's the same. Okay, never mind. I is egg in Dutch. I can try to refresh the audio page, but I was still just listening to YouTube music before Bimple started his stream and nothing like this was happening. Hmm. Beverage check. How's everyone's beverage doing? Oh my god. Speaking of audio issues, there is one location in a game I dare not mention the name of. In headphones, you can hear a loud heartbeat imp, and you can't without them. It's cool if it's a feature. Um, what game dare you not mention? Alright, um, so... Uh, when last we left off, uh, I'm pretty sure I got a new... Yeah, we have a, we have a new person. Um, this person is up for grabs. They are a thief. Does anyone want to be named and wa want to join the, the rowdy, um, the rowdy gang of Bimple crew? They, they are a, uh, a woman. I, I would love to say, you know, you know, like there's a, they, they I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say female because that's, that's almost like a dirty word now. Someone's going to get annoyed with me for saying that save it honestly but anyway they are a woman but they have a giant hammer so uh please you know like it it, it, it uh, kind of balances out a little bit hey mimesis i dare not mention the name of that game uh is this is the name bad i closed the other tab and everything is fine now my bad i'm so sorry bimple it was my fault i had two tabs open with your stream on it and they weren't in sync well the more we we know, uh, as long I, no no worries at all, Kevbo. As long as it was a mistake, <laughs> um, I I get like irrationally annoyed um, when <laughs> if someone uh, I'm not not saying you were obviously I trust that you were telling you're telling the truth, but um, if someone uh, makes up a problem, especially an audio one, because audio problems are the absolute worst ones to solve. Um, because I don't know how to solve them, basically. They are just problems that exist, and I don't know how to fix them. And honestly, most of the reason I bought a, uh, fairly, um, pricey mixer was so that I didn't have to deal with audio problems. And everything has been pretty much exactly the way I wanted it since I bought it. So, honestly, it has paid for itself. I mean, not literally. But it has done its job. And I'm glad that the audio problems are not here. Name is not bad, but game is very specific in nature. Just put put it in Discord. I'll, I'll I'll have a look. I like I like to look at games. You know I do. I dare not mention the name of that game. Nevelina Wong. You wanna? Okay, Nevelina Wong. It is. Give me name. Nevelina. Uh, ne Nevelina Wong. Done. I, I I I appreciate the the energy. All right. Um. So when last we left our our a little adventure uh, adventuring gang, um, we were running into money problems. <laughs> money problems. Uh, we we are we are we have problems right now. We have some pretty bad money problems. Um. We do have some quests we can accomplish uh um, maybe this one over here we can get some money for but i'm a little bit concerned we don't have any food either 
Um, and so we might actually have to rob uh, a merchant's like tent. Um, we, we, we might have to rob someone. I do want to find out if maybe there's a trapper somewhere. If the horseshoe fits, private, new owners, starting over. Yeah, they need something. Tilter and tomb. Um, why don't we go, like, we'll, we'll head south towards this. Wait, rat infestation, location defended. Gossenberg border crossing. Audio's just fine. The entire problem was on my end. Never forget that I am 100. No, it's all, it's all good. No worries. Um, all right, so we're going to depart. And I'm going to head south, and uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that we can find something. Were those uh, mercenaries? I saw them, like, kind of shuffle into the into the forest there. Just blame the moonshine, Kevbo. Um, there's some stuff over there. We could, we could take a... Oh, wait, I don't know if we can get out of there once we're in there. I think that's where we came from. This is where we started, I think. I think those are refugees. We don't necessarily... This game's got a very um, weirdly dark, like, approach to refugees. Stop right there. The salt mine belongs to her ladyship, um, Gontrand. I can't just let you in. Requires 60 threaten. This would gain us a little bit of uh, a reputation. Persuade. Oh, we could persuade them. Let's threaten them. That's okay. We This wears off over time. As you wish. We can't mine the salt because of these two iron veins anyway. I really don't understand why you were so keen. Well, I mean, I went in for salt, but iron is even better. So, honestly, uh, this, this, this is even better. I'm, um, Mimesis is our resident miner. Oh, that was, that was not bad. Okay, that's fine. We got some, we got some ore. There's some more ore here. Mimi is going to do some mining. Hopefully we could like sell some of this. Yeah, there we go. We got nine ore. Mimi has become a miner apprentice. There we go. Um, do we have anything else in here? You do have to kind of like look. I, I think there uh, there might be a, a button to um whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Stop right there, criminal scum. Halt! 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 That's uh That was from um Daggerfall. I uh, I've been watching a couple of the streams. I can't help it actually. I I apparently I run a, a fairly entertaining stream. Who would have thunk it? But um, I, since I've been like trying to chop up the streams, I've been watch like watching a little bit of them on occasion, and uh, I was watching a little bit of the Daggerfall one, and that was highly good. Okay, what what's your problem? How could they? They didn't even we didn't even put up a fight. They still killed our precious Lucina, sorry Lucilla. Mad with grief, her father chased after them toward the mill. I hope he caught up with them. These thieves don't deserve to live. Hey, a, 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 did you say a mill? Uh, yo, that's pretty good. Surf and turf on a stick. Um, I, I, I'm sorry to do this, but I have to steal your food. You can steal items using right click. Each theft increases the guard's suspicion level. Steal. You will be wanted by the guard for this theft. Are you sure you want to proceed? Uh, no, I guess not. It would get, oh, I see, it would give us 45 to 75. Okay, we can't afford to, I don't want a wanted level, okay? Okay, I don't want a wanted level, okay? I was gifted a flask, I need, need to find something decent to fill it. Moonshine, there you go. Okay, um... Uh, we, I've been needing flour for like the longest time and we do have salt. If I can get some flour here, here or wheat. Oh yeah. Well, okay. I mean, all the dead people is a kind of a shame. I won't lie, but Hey, wheat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. How are you doing? You're like alive. He killed everyone. Um, we don't have any medicine. A real madman. I'm injured. <laughs> 
finish him and we get 50 gold. Uh, how dark do we want to get, chat? I just bought a stainless steel flask with a super awesome logo on it and can't wait to fill it up myself. I'm thinking about filling it with 33% Jim Bean vanilla, vanilla bourbon. Uh, what, what's the logo on it? Um, oh, cloth? Cloth and snow iris. Snow iris is actually very good. I think we can maybe even make medicine with that. Um, ooh, fresh mint. Nice. I'm surprised we don't need the apothecarist for that. Sandstone? Why would I want that? Well, it's fine. We'll take it. Um, we got a little bit of money. Inspect. Oh, there's some more. Oh, hidden body. Work manual. Ooh, knowledge. In this game, knowledge is power. Read work manual. Absolutely. We received one knowledge. That was actually a very, very good find. I do want to help this guy out, even though it's going to cost us a little bit of money. Um, let's go ahead and make a camp. And then hopefully, I guess we need, do we need an apothecary's camp? We need, his, I guess we need, we can't make medicine out in the field. You know, um, in the battlefield you can't in the battlefield um love love cannot maybe love can bloom but we can't we can't make medicine <laughs> guys one day i might actually play um metal gear solid for stream that would be interesting oh we almost have enough for a lectern we're very close to having a lectern and we have we don't have a scholar yet actually and we almost have enough for strategy table as well i can make a camp chest um i don't actually want to make camp right now although can we uh make some can we make bread yo we can make bread our our food problems are potentially taken care of here we're going to gain some extra knowledge here as well, because um, we have never made bread before. Um, we have a second knowledge point. This is amazing. Um, the logo is a super awesome eye from a small store near my flat that is local and cool. I might copy because I'm not really into tough stuff. I feel like a flask should always have something potent but easy to drink in it. That's all I know about Metal Gear Solid. Snake! I need scissors. Let's get this print. Um, we have some knowledge. I I did take. Oh, okay. We have. I, I don't know. Oh, you know what? Rationing might be good. Frugality. Uh, wages paid to companions reduced by ten percent. This could be really good. We're almost at a hundred um, coins, so that would save us ten coins per wage. Your companions become better smokes persons who can talk to anyone in joining their ranks. Uh, cannibalism? Guys, is it bad that I'm thinking of taking cannibalism? I'm, I'm kind of thinking of taking can cannibalism. Offer hunters. Your companions are bribing the bounty emissaries to get more contracts. Increases the by one the number of contracts delayed displayed on the link list of bounties. Okay. Suspicion meter depletes 10% faster. Um, these are all really good. Repair materials restore five additional armor points. That being said, what is what do we have on offer for the cooking pot? Um, wolf sausage links with a bold taste. This requires salt, and I think that's wolf stuff. I kind of wish I could um, hover over that. Like, I wish I could, like middle or right click it so i can see what that requires um this requires eel mutton uh, pork smoked sardine pike soup tasty human flesh this used to be a lawful good playthrough i mean it's a lawful it's more like neutral good oh oh man okay so we could uh, potentially learn all kinds of new things We can learn how to make uh, actual weapons. Might be good. Chat, do you want to throw in some uh, some suggestions? 
light pony plate yo we could get some armor for bill i mean i don't know if i want to like spend wisdom on this but we can that's an option um yeah i'm i'm happy to to entertain um something i should make a tent tent would be good um we need more leather so i'm gonna have to kill some wolves i don't necessarily i don't necessarily want to make this um playthrough like totally evil and and corrupt i hope you don't mind that i dm you in discord no no i don't mind go for it um we could learn how to make a r iron plated roundel this requires we actually well it, we, this these all take resources that we kind of need to spend on making a tent i do i do want to make a tent i'm just gonna save the knowledge for now compendium okay um i don't know what that guy is these guys are, are what baddies those are mercenaries um it says combat these guys belong to someone specific and i'm not sure who oh this is just a champion this is probably a bad idea we're gonna we're gonna check them out oh lucilla i'll kill them all um so they're the one they're, they're trying to uh they're, they're they're avenging lucilla i i don't really want to kill this person i just want to talk to them I mean, we could attack him, I suppose. Do we have a quest here? Refugee leader awaits you in the Haven. Okay, well. Uh, I don't know. This seems like kind of cruel. I don't know what's up. Because like, didn't he already kill everyone? I think he already killed a bunch of people. All right, I'm going to attack him. Level three. What are we? We are level three. We should be able to fight him. Wanted for a string of murders. Matthias Lund is a dangerous individual. Okay. I guess if he's wanted, we might get a bounty on him. Kind of foolish to attack the bounty before we get the bounty, because then we don't actually get any extra money. I don't... I, I, at least I don't think we do. Elites are unique enemies who can act more than once during a round. Oh, interesting. Pay close attention to the turn order to prepare your strategy. Uh, Matthias will take their turn. Applies judgment to the nearest enemy. This unit is targeted. Then Lucilla's Revenge. Targets an area. Deals 104 damage to all units in the area and knocks them back by 6 meters. Wow. This guy is rough. I may have made a mistake by uh, taking this on. Okay, um, well, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We should, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, so we're gonna engage them with the two, uh, sword and board characters. And then Porlay is gonna hit them from behind. Um, we have Nevelina Wong, uh, who's gonna do some stuff, maybe. Unfortunately, the mud over here is gonna make, make things a, a problem. But it won't be too bad. And actually, we can leave Reno over here. He's gonna shoot him from afar. Um, so let's engage with Cactus. We'll get some extra, uh, Valor points for doing so. So let's slice them up. Wow, that's gonna do, like, nothing. Uh, did that not engage him? Does he not get engaged? We didn't gain extra Valor, so I guess we don't engage with him judgment well in a way that's good um he's targeted our friend here so what we want to do now actually 
is um i think we okay we we need to move reno up a little bit he's going to be in the mud just a little bit uh we need to push him vicious shot deals uh six to 11 damage to the target and knocks them back by two meters that's kind of what we want and apply slow down yeah let's uh let's now let's just do a vicious shot and move them they don't get moved um cactus is about to like absolutely eat it so he just doesn't move he doesn't get moved at all um this is this is a problem hey rgb hello game fun yes i like this game a lot okay all right so he's doing a target um i don't know what to do for our friend cactus cactus is going to absolutely eat it in a second forces the target to engage and inflicts weakening um maybe we want to taunt them maybe if we taunt them uh we can you know break them out of this Uh, looks like no, in fact. Wow. So, yeah, this is, this is, uh, this is a problem. This is a big time problem. He's about to do a hundred damage. Cactus might actually die. Remember how many times Cactus, like, almost died in the last session? And now he's, we, we need to flee. I'm actually gonna retreat. I'm not even kidding. Um, Cactus was about to die. Everyone took some damage. I need a lot of resources to heal them all. Um, everyone's hurt a little bit as well. <clears throat> Everyone got a wound. Uh, fleeing a battle is, is really bad. And it should only be done basically if you're about to die. And I was about to lose Cactus. Cactus was about to die. He was about to... <clears throat> Sorry, my, my apparently my throat is bad today. Hold on. He was about to take 100 damage to the face. Um, so I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to lose anyone. I don't want to lose any member. I, 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 I like all of our members. Um, kind of want to find some wolves to fight and then maybe we can make some wolf sausage. Oh, this is a, uh, a bandit camp. I'm really not doing well right now, but that's okay. It makes for an interesting story, you know? We got some wood. I'm pretty sure I can make a tent now. We have enough uh, food that we can, um, you know, survive. Poor cactus. Cactus is like somehow always the uh, person who's like about to die. Um, I don't know what to do right now. I don't really have any bounties. Hey, Bimple, everything okay? Yesterday I was playing cut and died trying to fly down the elevator of Golgotha. I felt so bad and honestly I was pissed. I lost all the remaining will to play cud because of that little mistake, but then I started watching your third season of cud with, with Mo Schwark, and in episode 9 you, you died falling in the elevator. That's what I do. That's I, I, I like to die in every way possible in cud so that people um, feel better about it. And then uh, that's that's my, my, my master plan. I'm I'm glad that uh, that you're enjoying my series. Learned a lot of cud by watching you. Sorry to talk about cud when you're playing. No, no, don't don't worry about it. Um, you know that's that kind of built my brand on cud. So like, if I'm not willing to uh, entertain some cud in the, in the chat, then you know that would that would just be weird. Hold on, what is this? Why can't I pick that up? Is my inventory full? No. Why can't I pick up the, uh, the iron? Is that a bug? Have we? Uh, is the game bugged? Um. Hmm. Okay. Okay. These guys are heading towards us. Um. Hoodlums four and poachers four. Oh God. They're level two bandits, so it's you know, maybe not a big deal, but I, I'm not I'm not hugely excited for this. 
Yeah, I want to do another Caves of Cud stream. That last one did really, really well. Um, even though I played awfully. Like, I, I played... Is awfully a word? Off, awfully? I guess... I think so. Um, yeah, I played, like, absolute garbage. Um, but uh, a lot of people found entertainment in that. So I... I you know, who, who am I to question that? Um... But yeah, I uh, I do want to do some more Caves of Cud streaming. I think what I want to do, guys, this weekend is... Uh, this weekend I would be doing a Door Fortress stream. I might stream both Saturday and Sunday. And listen, I understand that there's diminishing returns here. Like, if I stream too often, then I, I have to expect that eventually some of y'all are just going to not be able to show up. And that's totally fine, by the way. Like, I, I don't take your time for granted. Um... But I am, I am like, aware of that. At a certain point, if I stream too often, it's like, well, I, I just straight up cannot, uh, you know, come to that many streams. So, um, you know, and and uh, so at a certain point, I have to, I have to wonder, like, where, 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 when should I, like, draw the line? But there's a couple of things I do want to... Like, I want to do another Door Fortress stream. I do want to do another Cud stream. And I also want to do Library of Rowena. We're going to get some extra Valor. Wow, we lost all of our Valor. Man, that sucks. Oh my god, that sucks. We lost all of our Valor. Even our Hard Valor. And we lost all of our Armor. Everyone got wounded. Man, I should not have fought that guy. And this and cactus is poisoned like right out of the gate. Deals eight to eleven damage to the target. This target uh, this attack uh, ignores guard. Um, this rec this costs. This is a Nevelina. Let's get Nevelina to do her first blow. In fact, I'm even going to use this weakening blow. Smack. And then we'll do a normal attack. Smack. Oh, it would have been nice if that was a kill. That would have been her first kill. Last EF stream didn't do that well, but New Year's Eve probably wasn't the best date to stream. Yeah. I, I, you know, I don't, uh, I don't, I, I honestly, like, it did, what, 200 to 300 views? That's not bad. I recognize a, at a certain point that, <clears throat> you know, like, it, it is, it is going to be the day. Um, let's get Andrino to take a shot. Here, because if he can get a kill, then we get some valor. Eighty percent. Yes, extra valor. And uh, let's see. Well, we could spend that right away. Kind of want to. Oh, you know what? Um, we we got we should save that and do first aid on uh, cactus. Who's next in the turn order? These guys over here. Okay, uh, what's his range? Okay, he can get to pretty much everyone, and he's also, um, it looks like he, he is a, a dagger person, so he's probably going to poison someone. Uh, that's not good. Oh, this guy's a ranged person as well. Oh, Parlay is not going to do well here. Okay, please do not poison Parlay. Please miss. No! Oh my god, Parlay is, might actually die. And he's engaged now, which is like super not good. Granoff has a taunt. Um, he's also got a destabilizing strike. I was hoping this this kick makes me think that it's going to push someone back, but it doesn't do that. So I am going to come over here and use taunt. And weaken them and then cut them. Um, poor Lay is not in a good way right now. This is, uh, this, uh, this, this is not going well right now. We're like, I'm 100% not okay right now. Um, I don't know. Cactus has more health than Porlay. I kind of want to get Porlay over here and get Reno to heal him on the next turn. I see this trap. I do see that trap. Unfortunately, we really don't have a good... Like, we, we are not... He is so far away right now. I don't have any medicine to heal him. 
gonna play a zombie role-playing tabletop today i'm a luck build so everyone is gonna die horribly except me welcome to the bash and smash nevelina 122 views yeah okay that's not great for a six hour stream that's 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 pretty meh but that's fine i, I you know like i say i don't um and i need to maintain this mentality is like i don't do everything for the views At a certain point, okay, so like, you know, here's here's something I I, I, I kind of want to talk about this at some point, but um, shows getting canceled, right? So like, you know, HBO um, has canceled, uh, has, has canceled Westworld. And, you know, I, I kind of get that one, honestly. Honestly, Westworld did, um, got better treatment than a lot of games because, uh, Oh god. Oh god, poor Lay. Poor Lay's dying. If you heal them before they take damage, they will be able to fight again. If not, they will be permanently lost. Poor Lay. Uh all right. Poor Lay is in dire need right now. Mimesis. Oh man, everything's falling apart right now. It's Poor Lay's turn. I I can't really do anything with Poor Lay. I can't even move him. I should have moved him when I did. Do you really want to end Parley's turn without taking any action? I don't have any action to take, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do there. He's dead. Parley is dead. Parley is gone. Parley is lost to us. Damn it. Just damn. I cannot believe that th this has happened. I can't believe you've done this. Uh, well, I can't heal, uh, Cactus because I used up our Valor. This was very good. Man. Man, it's not okay right now. This poison business really sucks. Okay, we need to do this, um, Mimesis action. It didn't kill anyone. But we did get, um, some Valor. I should have done that first, and then Arena would have been able to heal. Okay. It's the best I can do right now. She's got two poison stacks on her. Grand off is, uh, has been hit. Um... Let's no, I need to keep that valor that valor needs to be I need, I need to keep that uh, I, I I'm really not looking. It's not not looking good right now. This battle seems unwinnable They do like 10 plus damage and outnumber us two to one they do uh, however, we can we we can we can maybe turn this around Hoping that doesn't set off the trap it didn't this is good Hoping that th this will make the guy run through that trap. Oh, I used deflection. I used up the valor like an idiot. It's okay. Um, I'm hoping what will happen is on the next turn, I'll use Mimesis. Unless she dies, of course. She is going to die from the poison very soon. Um, and now that, that means she can't do her move. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really un uh, unreasonable right now. Taking on that one dude absolutely destroyed me. Like, the fact that we had to flee that and it, it removed all of our armor and valor is, I think, a little bit much. And wounding everyone. And, like, that means all, yeah, willpower reduced by half. Like, everyone is not okay right now. Um, this guy is engaged. Uh, Mimi's gonna die. I have to flee. Yeah, I have to I have to give it up. We lost Porlay. Porlay is dead. Um, we gain nothing. Uh, all because of the stupid iron, by the way. Like that's I think that's the part that really ticks me off is not losing Porlay, but because the reason that happened is because the stupid iron was not collectible and I don't know why. Was Porlay our apothecarist? 
Who's our apothecarist? Okay, Reno is our apothecarist. Mimi was our miner. Cooking. Oh no! Porley was our, our uh, tinkerer. We can't afford to lose that. Does difficulty scale with time? No. No, it's just sometimes um, you find yourself in unreasonable situations that you can't really navigate. Sometimes it happens like that. Uh, wealthy farm. Where are we going? Oh, that's this is the wrong way. I'm gonna have to make camp. I do have enough food. Okay, let's make camp. Hopefully we don't get end up in a in a combat right now. Um, do we we don't have anything we can cook, right? Yeah, nothing. Um, okay. Well, uh, it is it is what it is. We lost our tinker. In that case, a white might be for the best. Rip Porlay. Porlay was our DPS. I I could have done that battle if not for the fact that everyone was wounded and lost all of our armor. That's the part that, that really sucks. Also, we can't make a tent right now. <laughs> uh, we can't make a tent because I lost my tinker. Uh, maybe Nevelina will be our tinker. Because we can't really afford to not have a tinker. And she hasn't really done any thieving. So, um, yeah. Where is she? Nevelina is our tinker. Confirm. Um, we can't make a tent. Why not? Oh, I, I need more leather. Jesus. Okay. Um, why can't we make a lectern? Tinker apprentice required. So she can't do it because she hasn't made enough stuff. Uh, things are not okay. The, so the issue here right now is that I have to make stuff. And, um, I don't really have the means. I don't know what to have her make just out of like, just arbitrarily. Um, like I could make things and then sell them, I suppose. That's an option. We could make some cooking pots and sell them. I don't know if that's a... You, you can only have this item once. Okay, so no, we can't do that. Uh, launder the items stolen b during rest. Okay, that's interesting. Too bad we don't have a thief anymore. Um. All right, well, lockpicks, maybe? Like, I'm trying to figure out what, what should we make. We could make some torches. Torches might be good. We can only make one of them. I don't really want to use up our cloth. Uh, let's make lock picks for now. I guess we could make we could make fish hooks. We should get a fisherman again. Um, this is just for the sake of uh, leveling up our um, our, our tinker tinker apprentice. Okay, I'm assuming we can't make a lectern now. Oh, we can. No, we need two iron. I should have left two iron. Damn it! Damn it! Re it's going so badly right now. Okay. Um I hope you guys are okay with not receiving pay because I don't have any money. Let's uh keep our spirits up with um some brandy. Fishing. Yeah, the problem with fishing is that I don't have enough people to justify a fish. I guess we could maybe the apothecaries. We could turn uh, Reno into a fisherman. What do you mean, wolves? What do you mean, wolves? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Let's have them all on one side. <laughs> I 
We got attacked overnight. Oh, rest in peace, everyone. Yep. This is what happens. Can no longer be chosen to complete tasks. Damage taken increased by 10%. Um, this might be a TPK. This might be actually like I, I should I might just load the game because um, it's just the, the, a succession of like awful events has uh, has basically made this like a, a complete total party wipe. So I, I yeah I don't know I don't know what we're what we're doing there to be honest. Okay. Mimi can wipe out two with one hit. Mimi's a, if I lose Mimi, I'm I'm loading. There is so many. Yep. There is in fact so many. Um Let's get Reno in here. Maybe we can kill someone. Maybe we can kill one of these wolves. Like the one that uh, Nevelina is engaged with. 80%. Okay, yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Nevelina and Reno's relationship is destroyed. All right, well, that's cool. Um, um, I'm very tempted to load right now. Guys, I, I think I, I think I want to load. I know it's I know it's cheesy, um, but this is this is not tenable. I was already not in a great situation, and uh, it really is just like one mistake made that that made the whole thing fall apart. I didn't realize that that guy was going to be such a monster. Um, so I, I'd rather I don't think this is a very interesting story right now. And I'd rather uh, not lose like everyone at once. So we're gonna we're gonna load, and I'm gonna turn this back into Neville Lena Wong. And the other companions approve. Nice. And you are still a thief. And everything is good. And nothing is bad. And everything is good. And nothing is bad. All right. We're gonna go south. I'm still gonna go to the mill. Um, I'm going to go to the mill and I'm going to get as much, you know, resources as we can. I might turn Nevelina into, um, a fisherman. Let's actually, let's do that. Um, we don't need a thief. We need food is what we need. Chat, I'm sorry, uh, I, I don't necessarily like to load in this kind of game. We have two hooks and there's three fish to be to be got. Okay, we got a perch. I don't need a perch. It's fine. It's fine. I'll figure it out. pike we can learn how to make a pike there's a sound effect in the background that sounds like a geiger counter to me anyway okay so that's some food got yeah i'm sorry to destroy the narrative by loading there um, but I don't I don't I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of the narrative of we got stomped by a big dude And then we got stomped by a bunch of little dudes and then we got attacked by wolves and everyone died I think that that's a fairly boring story if I'm being honest Nevelina stands high thigh high in the water and smashes the fishes with her hammer while screaming Nevelina smash Where's them refugees? We'll toss them out ourselves. We'll toss them all out yeah, I've been drinking. We all have. How'd you know? You see ears or something? Um, leave us be. We've got refugee refugees to clear out. Oh, we could get some leather by taking these guys on. But I don't know uh, how tough they are, to be honest. How tough are you? Uh, 
I'm so tough I ate had a bowl of nails for breakfast. Yeah, so without any milk. Right this way. Okay, we're still gonna get this iron. I really do want this iron. I like the mining mini. Oh, what the, what the heck? It's not working. Oh, wait a minute. Am I just dumb? Yeah, I am. Okay, there we go. Luckily, it doesn't count um, if you don't click the button. So uh, they gave me a free pass there. It's just like Fortnite. Guys, is this a Fortnite reference? Got a lot more iron that time. You cleared out the iron deposits. Well done. We can get back to work. Oh, nice. I actually, I didn't talk to him last time. And so therefore, uh, I didn't complete the extra like little quest. It would be nice if, uh, you know, you, 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 the guy would like, well, I didn't realize that you just wanted the iron. So, um, you know, I, I won't let the, the authorities know that you threatened me. Be kind of cool. That's fine. It's whatever. Second coming of Porlay. Porlay is back. Praise be Porlay. I do like Porlay. Porlay is, is my DPS and he does a ridiculous amount of damage when he's not wounded and without armor. So we're going to go back to Lund here. How could they... They didn't even put up a fight. Um, there was something to collect here, right? Oh, it was just this, but I, I've actually, um, we don't have a thief anymore. Oh, wolf stuff. Well, if I had known that, oh, cut wood. We need a warrior. It's funny to me that we don't have a warrior. We have like everything else, but not a warrior. I do, uh, really, like, I enjoy the, the fact in this game that we have these like little, um, what are they called? Uh... Um, I can't remember what they're called. You know, like when, when you have like a little, uh, set up a little, a diorama, we've got these little dioramas of like these little, little areas. Right. And, um, there's like things you have to actually like kind of search them out a little bit. You can't, you know, I, I, I think at one point you were able to hold a button down and it would show you all of the clickable or interactable things. I think that that is no longer the case. I don't think you can do that anymore. Um, but I, I do really like that you have to actually kind of like explore the zone. Um, all right, we got it. Oh, we got something different this time. Mosquito probisca, pro pro proboscis. Surprisingly flexible and resilient. Resistant. Prob I don't know what that is. Can be dried and ground into powder. Well, it might, might be worth something. We still get that knowledge. That's the important thing. That knowledge is, is good. Uh, I wish we could, like, get some more wheat from this mill, honestly. And this guy, we can... Honestly, I'm tempted to just finish him off. Let's do it. I'm sorry. I, I need the money. I'm like really not doing okay right now. So we're now officially a true neutral um, game. Probiscus, probiscus, upper jaw of mosquito they sting you with. Hey, Vild. Hello, glad to see the run is still going. Strong? <laughs> Who wants to tell uh, Vild what happened? Okay, I'm kind of hoping there... I guess we can't go to the beach. No, we can't. Okay, so we can't fish over here. Rest in peace, a guy. <laughs> um, well, the good news is, Vild, um, you weren't the first to die. We all... I honestly thought that you were going to be the first person to die. But you weren't. So, congratulations.
Okay, um, I want to cut through here a little bit. I don't want to go in that fog. The fog is bad. As we as we learned last week, fog equals ghosts, apparently. I do want to inspect this. Ooh, venison. Very nice. I really want to find a hunter to sell some of our stuff to. Um... There's something there. I guess we haven't explored that yet. That is uh, basically where people go when they're arrested. Brotherhood training grounds. I don't know what they need, but I don't think I can afford to give it to them, whatever it is. Um, hammer for hire. We still need to get our blacksmith to uh, you know, a higher point. I'd like to... Rat infestation. Maybe we should check out the rat infestation. So we'll go northeast. We can try and just like make do with what we've got. We've got some knowledge points. Um, and so, uh, you know, like I, I can learn how to cook pike and that might buy us some extra time. Did you try fighting Lund? I did, yeah. Uh oh. Hey, uh, hey, uh, cops. My dude, cops. Y you guys want to do something? No? Okay. Alright. You know what? We need to go north anyway. We don't need to go east. Yeah, poor Lay was the first to die. Um, and then... Uh, well, actually, I don't think anyone else died. We don't need to deal with these guys. No one else, no one else died. I loaded before anyone else died. I surrendered to Lund and um, basically lost all of our armor, all of our valor. We lost everything, right? And then, um, then we got attacked by the brigands, like the, the, the people I just like talked to. Um, not, sorry, not those people. The, the people I just ran away from. My bad. Uh, this is a place, by the way, you can, you can buy other adventures here. Um, you can also buy chains, apparently, and rope. Didn't know that. Teaches you how to prepare ether. Chances to knock out an animal increased by 15%. Interesting. Uh, barber kit. Hand over a prisoner. Really? Do we have a prisoner? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, interesting. I didn't know that. Um, so we can we can buy adventures here, by the way. Uh, but it costs a lot of money. Not really worth it. Unless there's like someone of, you know, high... Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, like someone who's, who's, you know, got some chops. But then again, if they've got some chops, they probably are more expensive. So I'm going to do some more fishing here. Yeah, the cops are, are are very like highly simulated in this game. Like they 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 act like actual cops, you know. Very realistic. Pike. One more. Okay, perch. So what do we have the most of right now? We've got three pikes uh, and also three perch. I'm not sure what it would what would be what would be good to learn how to make. I don't know which one of these provides more sub sustenance. It looks like they're about the same. Keep it consensual. Chain is to capture criminals in combat and selling them for profit. That's kind of cool. Uh, I wonder if that would be worthwhile. I don't think I've, I'm like, I, I really, I'm like constantly teetering on the edge here. I don't know if it would be worth, um, doing that yet. What I am going to do, I'm going to make a couple of fish hooks. Not a lot. We'll make like 10 fish hooks. I'm going to sell some of these, but this is just to get our dude up to apprentice. And then, um, we can make a lectern. Pieces together antiquities found in the tombs of the ancients during our... Well, actually, can we... Um, I guess we need leather for this. 
but also uh, re tinkerer experience required. Okay, so we can't make that yet. So why don't we make a, uh, we'll make a lectern for now. Actually, what? No, tent. Tent is what we want. So we, we need more leather for that. Um, let's see. Can, let's see what we can cook. First of all, we can make some bread. So we're going to make some bread. And uh, we gained a knowledge point. Um, let's maybe spend one point on a either perch or um, pike. Pike soup. This one would require um, smoked sardine. We don't have that. Yeah, let's make, let's learn. Oh, this requires salt. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're going to learn how to make um, pike soup. We're going to need to know how to make the various recipes with um, fish now that we have a fisherman. It's going to hopefully take care of some of our um, food necessities. By volume, most handcuffs in the U.S. are sold to private households, I heard. Capturing criminals for growth, growth and profit. Profit. Yeah, maybe I want to go buy some cuffs. Um, we don't need to actually make camp yet. I think we're actually totally fine. Uh, let me, let me buy like one of these. Let's see how much they are. 20? We can buy one. We'll buy one. Just the one, just to see how this goes. Um, I also want to go get some more fish over there. Missy's is hungry again. We're almost out of energy. So we're almost ready to make camp, but I'm going to go ahead and do some more fishing. I do really enjoy, um, you know, this game, like it has some, it's got some like very dramatic highs and lows. Carp is good. Actually. I think we can, we can cook carp already. You know, like the lows are, are very kind of calm. But the highs are, are very dramatic. I kind of wish I could have salvaged that previous situation. It was just like really unreasonable perch. Maybe perch is what we can cook. I can't remember now. Let me have a quick look. We can cook, oh yeah, carp and now pike. So we have a couple of carp for, for making food out of. That's good. Growth part is actually that you can recruit prisoners. You can recruit prisoners, but isn't there a good reason not to do that? I want to get to the road because uh, there will be less chance of us getting attacked. Actually, let's talk to a merchant. Maybe we can sell some of our stuff. Will you buy? No, you won't buy that. You'll buy our pike soup. I don't know why I would do that. We could sell our mosquito probisci or whatever it is. Um, you will. Okay, they will buy our fish hooks, so we could sell some fish hooks. We don't need a ton of fish hooks, and I'm gonna sell some lock picks as well. Um, just enough so we can actually like pay. Our, uh, you know, pay our stuff. Attacking them would raise our wanted level by a, an amount. I'm not sure. I wish I had a way of like telling how how strong they are, but I, I'm assuming they're too strong for us. I saw a boar in jail once in this game. <laughs> Yo, that's really good. Okay, um, I want to get our cook to like level, like at least apprentice. Normal quality item obtained. Um, can we make anything here right now? I still want to make a tent. We need more leather for that. Oh yeah, I want to learn how to make venison. There you go. 
Danger level 80%. When dangers abound, an attack can occur while your troop rests. Why is it so high? I thought it was on the road. Oh, we're fighting boars. Okay. Ten of them. Um, this shouldn't be as bad as it was before because, uh, you know, we, we've got armor. No one's wounded. I know there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of boars, you know, don't get me wrong. This is not going to be necessarily a walk in the park. Um, but it's not going to be as bad. Where is cactus? Cactus is over there. Uh, this is the bad. The worst part is actually that we can't have everyone on that side. Because we could like maybe choke them a little bit if we could have them all on one side. But, um, yeah. You know what? We could do something here because we got these rocks here. Those rocks are going to be um, useful. We'll, we'll have Cactus uh, and Porlay take out this one boar and then rejoin the group over there. We're going to have Mimi kind of create a choke point here. Um, and <clears throat> we'll have... Uh, where's Nevelina? Nevelina, you're going to be over here in the mud. And hopefully you'll draw that boar towards that trap. Um, I'll have parlay over here and that gives me options 10 boars in real life. You would get wiped. Yeah, I know Boars boars are no joke No, I don't want to what okay, so we're gonna start with Mimi um, Winding up an attack Hopefully um, Two boars come up Two if we're really lucky we'll have three boars come up um, then we're gonna have Cactus over here run over and engage this boar. Yep, we got some valor for that. That's good. Okay, so like that's the worst. This is the worst thing that can happen is uh, poor Lay getting engaged. Um, they don't really do that much damage. I'm thinking actually it might be worth disengaging. Three damage is not great. I won't lie. But I want to come over here and um, we could get some Valor. I'm just going to try and um, if we kill him, that's fine. Yeah, we killed him. Okay, and that gave them all Fury. So that's not necessarily great, but it is what it is. Um, can we... No. We can throw... We can throw... A, or what are we throwing? Knives? Okay. We only have one knife left. All right, I don't want to necessarily use that on a boar. I was hoping to get Valor. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm kind of worried that Mimesis isn't going to get to, like, do have multiple boars in here. I think that this boar, unfortunately, kind of choked things up too much. Where's your AR when you need it? <laughs> oh Jesus! That's that's a that's a joke. I thought that boar died for a second there. I'm hoping that this boar will move up here. Um, Reno. Reno has the potential to kill this boar if we're lucky. Um, what was the chance there actually? Was it 100%? Yeah, okay. We want to do this because we're going to get that Valor back. So that's fine. We'll move him up also. Notice how much movement he has last now. He had zero movement in the la the last time when I was like dying because he was wounded. Oh, is he just barely in line there? Oh god, why do they want to engage Porlay all the time? It's so frustrating. I kind of wish the AI was a little bit stupider in this game. Like it seems like they know what to do to give themselves an advantage. And they're boards, you know, like come on. Um, I don't want Neville to go. Who hasn't gone? Seems like Neville is the only one who has, uh, hasn't gone. Problem with Neville going right now is that he doesn't actually have, uh, she doesn't have anything good to do. So I'm just going to move her here and uh, hope that it draws this boar into the trap. There we go. Alright, I need to leave. Alright, see you later, I'm a 10. Take it easy. So 
So I'm hoping that this swipe will actually hit this other boar. I don't think it will. No, it looks like it won't. That's uh, really unfortunate. It's not even going to kill them. That's fine, though. Um, I What I could do is, like, get an attack with, like... Look at that. We could, we could kill, like... Or not kill, but hit three boars. Uh, not a bad idea. We'll do a bunch of damage. And also, um, can we move a little bit? Oh, this could actually be amazing. We can move here. Can we get three boars here? No. Only two. That's fine. Two is enough. Listen, I know I'm putting Mimesis in danger here, but I think that it'll be worth it. They must do like one to four damage. They're getting some lucky hits in. Okay, um... Let's get to... Uh, oh, god damn it, poor Lay. Um... Let's get to uh, Gran off in here. What, does he get... No, he doesn't really get anything. Um, who's next on the turn order? This guy? Okay, let's let's go over here and, and try and, and kill this guy. Could do a... No, protection isn't it. Okay. I kind of want to give someone for Reno to kill. Boars are actually pretty smart like pigs. Of course, in reality, they'd never attack a group of people for no reason like this. Would they not? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna kill uh, attack the boar because I'm gonna kill it with um with Reno. Actually, we can do wrath. Let's just do wrath. There we go. We have galvanization. This is good. Uh, I'm gonna come over here. And, um, I kind of want to... Mm, you know what? I don't want to move poorly all that much. Uh, boars might be smart, but I don't think they are smart enough to engage my, my, like... <laughs> my, uh, dagger, my cloak and dagger fellow. You know what I mean? Like, they're not smart enough to, to know to do that because they'll, they'll have a distinct advantage. We should be able to kill this guy. We could get really lucky here with a kill. Yeah, there we go. And um, we could do some nice damage to this guy as well. Drino is actually doing some good work here. Boars get pretty aggressive in rut season. Where I live, some forests are closed part of the year for that reason. I'm hoping that we get some leather for this do you, do you think do you get leather from boars i'm, I'm not i'm, I'm kind of ignorant in this regard there we go Ooh, nice critical your opponents are demoralized and flee do you want to let them go no i don't i want to uh finish this finish what we started here finish what they started actually Oh, Mimesis. Oh, that's fine. Okay, Mimesis. Oh, it's not her turn yet. Okay. Um, so it's just Cactus. Cactus is unfortunately blocked off a little bit, so he's got to go the long way around. New round. Okay, so now we can absolutely destroy these fellows. Kill! Mimesis, stomp! And I'm going to go ahead and... Um, do a little bit of damage to this guy as well. That was temporary valor, so there's there's a good reason to do that. And uh, Reno is going to go ahead and get a kill here for some extra valor, and I'll have him run over, and uh, we we can use the rest of our temporary valor to uh, kill this other boar. There we go. The fact that boars cons consistently rush down the hunter with lowest HP is very well known. Really? Well, maybe I'm just like completely wrong about this. All right, I'm, I'm willing to be wrong. We got some experience and some influence. Everyone's got a uh, fairly damaged um, armor. That's fine. Um, our uh, Granoff has leveled up, which is great. 
Now we can do career plans to up his game a little bit. I think that uh, his his constitution is pretty good, and he gets more constitution from being a cook. Um, Granoff is kind of our our tank in a way. Um, the unit gains deflection every time an attack hits several enemies. You gain one. Every time this unit engages in combat, you gain one. Yeah, that's definitely what we want. Granoff is definitely an engager. Um, willpower increases our critical hit, boosts the troops' morales and morale in combat. They, they're not really a booster. I think we want to use career plans to up strength. Um, so we can do a little bit more damage. We've our constitution is good. Like Granoff has really good constitution, but he could stand to gain a bit more strength. I assume, yeah, he's a fighter. I have to assume he benefits from strength. Yeah, strength plus one, slice skill. Um, I'd say one possibly unprovoked attack in 100 plus years makes them not super dangerous. Chad is getting spicy about feral hogs. We don't have enough uh, repair. We can make some. We should be able to make some repair kits. Oh, I guess that's one of the few things we can't make. Oh, we can make a tent though. Yo, we can make a tent. Yes. We have a tent. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. A client requests your presence at the Mother Bear Tavern. A oh, place in camp. I wanted to place it in camp. Look at it. I love it. Um, assigned companions generate one extra for each rest. Um, so we could generate, we could either generate happiness or we could generate um, more valor. And I think that more valor would be definitely better. We're, our happiness is really good right now. We're, we're very good for happiness. Um, and we got some meat, right? We got some uh, animal remains. I wish I knew how to cook that stuff. I wish I knew how to, like, turn that into something good. Shelter. Boar hunter with lowest HP usually climbs up a tree and aggro every boar in the dungeon. Other hunter DPS them while they are aggroed, and that's how you hunt boar. Can you generate enough happiness to not have to pay anyone? No. Um, happiness is good for morale. It increases our maximum valor points and experience gained in combat. Is, is highly increased. Any gain above 15 grants you five. Uh, val uh, that's not valor, that's uh, influence. So um, having, like, generating extra happiness is actually very good. But, uh, you know, it's, I, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's the end all be all. I, I'd rather have some more valor. Bonus maximum valor points increased by one. Yeah, so we generate more valor. That's going to be useful for combat. Um, we'll see. If I start to dip below 15 a little bit, then uh, a companion will want to... Oh, I see. At negative 5, a companion will want to leave your troop. 15... At 15, experience gained in combat increases increased by 15%. So, like, dipping below 15 is not necessarily good, but I'm pretty good at keeping our valor or our, our uh, happiness high. So I do want to go through here. I want to check out this rat infestation. I really need to find some hunters. I don't know what the deal is there. The farmer start had a perk that made them happy while sleeping in the forest. So I was raking in that influence. How do I check stuff like that? Base guard. Five additional guard when holding a shield. Valor point consumes one less. I guess they all have traits that I haven't really been looking at. Carrying capacity, chance to generate one valor point at the end of their turn. Willpower reduced by five until their equipment is repaired. Oh no, Drino, Drino needs to get their uh, stuff repaired. Thick skinned, tough, has a chance to not suffer injuries in combat. Thick skinned, tough, bloodthirsty, and scrawny. Constitution reduced by 5%. So we need to... I need to get some uh, food in Nevolina, maybe. Ooh, extra leather in this barrel. Very nice. 
Um, so there's a rat infestation. Um, a little bit concerned. You have 100 wages to pay. Well, we can actually pay that. I'm actually doing all right in regards to some of this. I got some extra iron. Talking about the game start thing you picked. Oh. I don't think I picked anything. I think I picked a very, uh, like, default start. So I don't know. I don't know what I got. Okay, this rat infestation could could be spicy. But they're rats. They can't be all that bad, can they? You, Your feet sink into some repulsive muck. The ground shudders. Oh, God. We have five days worth of food. That's actually incredible. Kill the matriarch to end the fight. At the end of each round, the matriarch call, calls the numerous rats to help her. Try to destroy as many plague-infested outgrowths as possible before killing the matriarch to earn more rewards. Um, we're... Okay, so plague-infested outgrowth. So that's one. Oh god, they're, they're pretty far away. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to split up the group. I definitely think that, um, Mimi is gonna be the one to take out the brood mother. Um, I'll, I think I'm gonna leave, like, Mimi and, uh, the, uh, and Porlay over here, and maybe Reno. And then I'm gonna take Cactus, uh, Neville, and Gran off, and we're, they're gonna go and, uh, try and eliminate some of these outgrowths. Rat Queen. So I'm going to open up by having um, Mimi come over here. The nice thing here is that I don't I don't foresee any possible way that she can't get multiple hits here. Okay, so they uh, the rats actually have fairly high movement, um, but they did engage Granoff. That gave, give, gives us a bit of Oh god, so we're generating plague wounds right now. Um, the main thing here is I want I want to generate some extra uh, valor with uh, Porlay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over here. We want to I'm gonna throw a poison uh, vial and hopefully get as many rats as possible. Nice. Um, I don't know who is engaged here. I don't know if anyone's engaged. I guess um, Porlay and Mimi are actually a bad match because Mimi doesn't actually engage anyone in combat. So he, we would have been better to move over here to this other plague rat. So I'm going to try and kill this this extra extra rat here. Ah, uh, that was un unlucky, to say the least. They might die from poison, though. That's that's not bad. We could use Wrath, but I don't think I want to waste Wrath on a rat. There we go. So Mimi's going to get, like, an extra kill, hopefully. Um, So Granoff is going to have to kill this rat. I think it might actually be worth using Destabilizing Strike to just get, like, get this done. Wow. Granoff really doesn't do a lot of damage. We need to get him a better weapon. Aw, come on. See, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. I don't think the AI should be smart enough to know to do that. Like, that's that's kind of frustrating. Uh, an area of poison that applies two poisons to all units moving through it or ending their turn in it. So, I mean, this is not good. Uh, I feel like the only thing I could maybe do is have uh, Drino shooting these things. But, like, how the heck do we approach these things? They're they're just, like, pure poison. Yeah, I'm buying this game right now. It's a really good game. It's, it's one of my favorites. I don't think I'm going to waste my time with these. I think they're just going to, like, absolutely end up destroying me. I, I, I just don't, uh, I don't think it's going to help. 
So we're going to kill this plague rat here. That'll give us some extra valor. Um, I could potentially kill that other one and also gain some extra valor. 76. I don't really want to do that. I don't, I actually don't want to use our extra point there. So we're getting some valor for something engaging cactus. Um, okay. Um, not sure what we want to do. I guess, I guess we need someone else to engage the, the brood mother. So let's do that. And we're also going to apply some weakening to, the, to her. Let's do some encouragement. The giant rat was enough for me to know that I would love to play this. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna kill that rat. We use up our valor, but that's fine. This is this is where you want to use valor, you know. Okay, so Broodmother is gonna call on some more rats. Rats are emerging from. Whoa, that is a lot of rats. Um, let's. Okay, she. <laughs> Mimi's gonna get three hits here. Oh, not three hits. I thought that this third one was in here, but that's fine. She still gets the valor. Kind of want to let's kill that one rat there. And um, yeah, let's do this and then set up another attack. Try and catch. Maybe this rat will engage her from this angle. Yeah, I feel you getting bit sucks. Some mice kind of scare me, but cute to see you got bit once. That is why. Um. <sighs> hmm. Well, we'll end Mimi's turn. I, I don't like what's going on here. Also, I need to check, oh, like, what what is this uh, fever? I, I can't imagine that's good at all. This, this, they, they actually, like, tried to get me to even think about these plague-infected outgrowths when they're going to throw, like, 13 rats at me. My dude. Come on now. Okay, let's do another destabilizing strike to kill this rat. Also, I need to see, what is this uh, fever? Damage taken increased by 10%. Stackable. Jesus. So we're just going to be taking like a ridiculous amount of damage from fever. Oh my god. Let's give them extra protection. So this we're, the cactus is surrounded. I mean, even with the extra buffs and stuff, they, they don't seem to be getting, like, all that much. Um, Drino getting uh, engaged in combat is, is probably not great. Okay, we need to disengage. They took five damage. That's just not fair. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. We need to, we need to kill something. Honestly, it might be just worth um, doing doing a bit of extra damage to the queen. What do we have here? 13... Eight, we could do a recoil shot to kill that one plague rat there. We have a 59% chance of, of hitting them. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move slightly over here. And we're going to hit it for 80%. There we go. And we get that Valor back, and then we're going to move back over here. Actually, uh, poor Lay is probably going to be in the way. 30% chance. Yeah, I don't like those odds. So I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, hit something else. That guy over there. That's, oh, never mind. We, When you're shooting into a crowd, you're very bound to, to hit someone else. It's okay. We didn't hit our ally. We only hit uh, another rat. 
Wow. Cactus really has some of the worst luck in the world. Um, I need poor Lay to maybe make his way over there. Uh, and he can't make it. Can we have Granoff? Nope. Granoff is, has already done, taken their turn. Cactus just like always seems to be in the worst situation ever. He's only engaged in one of these rats. So it might be better to just disengage him and then run into a more um, beneficial area. Actually, yeah, let's let's run him this this way. Um, can we do encouragement would be pretty good right now. Actually, let's do an encouragement. No luck. That's me. All right. This game has co-op. I wonder how it is, uh, how it's, it is to play in co-op. Might be a bit like Wildermyth. I played a, I played a round of Wildermyth in co-op and it, it worked out really well. It might be just like, you know, um, <clears throat> one player gets like a certain number of characters and it's just like kind of arbitrarily assigns things. Um, okay. Let's, let's just hit, hit the, hit the brood mother queen. Um, they keep engaging Porlay and it, it keeps bugging me a lot, actually. <laughs> I know, I know Porlay was right there, so, you know, it's, it makes sense. Okay, Granoff is, is cool. I kind of want to throw a poison vial somewhere. I guess I can only throw it in front of me. That's the, that's the, see, this is the, one of the reasons Porlay getting engaged in combat is like one of the worst things. Because first of all, we, we lose the, the Valor bonus. He gets a Valor bonus from um, standing next to something he's not engaged with, which is, you know, very good. So, like, if I was to stand here, for example, um, and end our turn, we would get a Valor bonus. And we also are kind of flanking this rat. They're probably going to get engaged in something, but that's okay. Um, in this example, we can we probably will get engaged with this Plague Rat. Oh, God. This is a little bit much, I will say. It's a bit much. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering if maybe I can like drag some of these rats over here. We could like if I, I'll move I'll move uh, Reno over here, and I'm gonna shoot. Oh wow, that's that's some really awful awful luck. Um, yeah, things are not ideal right now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end his turn there. That really sucks. Uh, I just, you know what I really need to do is I really need to get everyone to attack the, the brood mother. You know, what's really frustrating. I got to say is there's like 16 bajillion rats and Mimi is still only attacking one unit. Like they couldn't, they, that's what I mean by, I think the AI is just a little bit too smart for its own good is they didn't like, they, they wouldn't attack Mimi because then I would get like a, a, a great benefit, right? I need to disengage and we're going to run over here and start hitting the broodmother queen. I have to do this. Like, I'm not going to even do all that much damage, but I have to kill her and end this as soon as possible. Rats are pretty smart. They're not tactical. You can't tell me that. They're pretty smart. Don't give me that. You can't tell me that the rats are like, oh, uh, she's clearly winding up an attack and therefore we should not like surround her like we're doing to everyone else. Um, okay, we're going to spend some valor. First of all, I am going to disengage and we're going to spend a bunch of valor here. Kill? Yes, kill. Broodmother is dead. The rats are fleeing in a panic. 
Every time I count them, I end up with a different number. Maybe there's there's special forces rats. What do we know? Plagued leather. A strange aura emanates from this piece of leather. Perhaps someone knows how to refine it. Infected brain. Oh, goody. Pest control. I got a Chivo. Yo, I got a Chivo. Someone needs help in the abandoned tower. At least that's what he's screaming out the window. Um, we could do that. I'm a little bit concerned about our situation here. This is a similar situation to the one I was in, you know, just before I stopped playing or I loaded the game. Um, I think what we should do is head back to Strom, Stromcap. Rat Ractix. Has anyone named a game Ractix? That's a stupid name, actually. I don't know why anyone would name it, their game Ractix. Rat Tactics. Do you do you see? Do you see chat? Do you understand? <laughs> Talking to my chat as if they are imbeciles. Their ARs go rat tat tat. Isn't there a game coming out that is like medieval times combat, um, but with rats? It's called like Grussenberg or something. I don't know. Oh, we're so close to Stromcap. Come on. We're so close. We're not going to make it. All right. Mm, okay, we can't make any food. That's fine. We don't need any food. Because we've got tons. Pay. Everyone's happy. Everyone's paid. Everyone's fed. Our happiness is still at 15, I think. Uh, yes. Nice. We produced some um, raw materials. Your troop is well rested. Some companions are now plague ridden because their plague infested wound was left unhealed. Everyone is plague ridden. Oh. Yes. Very good. Very good. All right. What does uh, Porlay have to say? For each battle, a new injury. I'm not built for this life. I should have listened to my mother and become a farmer. Um, demand a raise for the increased risk. Hide your fears. Avoid losing the group's trust. We get two valor, negative five happiness. Sulk. Get the, gain the sulky status. After arrest, the, the troop gains two valor points less. Yeah, That's awful. Plus 20% fatigue. Well, this isn't good. None of these are good. And I don't have any money to compensate them. Uh, I'm just going to ask them to, to endure it. I don't like... The sulky stat just seems, like, awful. We can have... Let's have Bill at the fireplace. There we go. Uh, well, it really sucks that I couldn't make it to Stromcap because I could probably have cured everyone. We're gonna have to create some antidotes, maybe. Hand, bomblet, uh, poison flask, medicine. What am I missing? I need more snow iris. Let me see what um, is available to us. Incendiary flask. Wow, we really don't have like anything available here. I was thinking, oh, we could like maybe learn how to make an antidote or something. Uh, cure for the plague. Wow, that's expensive. Wow. Just, oh my god.
My god. We need pristine essence for this. I don't know how to make pristine essence. So everyone's got the plague. Um, what does the plague do? This unit is sick with the plague. They can only eat meat and may go mad if they become famished. Oh, good. Oh, good. Um, yeah, we're, we're in a horrible, horrible situation right now. Well, uh, we just need to make sure that no one goes hungry. Do you have any carp? We got some, we need to buy some salt. Uh, you know what? I don't have any money right now. <laughs> Not a very appetizing dish, it must be said. We can sell more lock picks. Sell all of our lock picks. We don't really need those right now. And buy some more salt. We need salt to kind of keep our rations up. Price temporarily reduced. Sweet and sugary fruit. We could probably make wine from that. Mercenary life isn't easy, Porle. I know, right? Porle, stop your whining. Quit your whining, Melonhead. Do you have anything to say? You've got leather. You would think that that would mean that they would buy... Yeah, they don't... Can be used as tra currency with trackers. We need to find where a tracker is. Just like... Just, just dang. Everything is not okay right now. Just wow and dang. Um, all right, maybe we can make some stuff. Targe, rags. I, I would like to make something like useful. Uh, I would like to maybe learn how to make something better. Two-handed mace. Um, you know what? For, for, um, let me see, uh, uh, uh poor, not parlay. Isn't it Granoff? Granoff needs something better. I'm pretty sure Granoff has like some really awful gear right now. Um, Rusty Glaive. Yeah, that's not that's not okay. He needs uh, a one-handed sword. Let's see how to make a one-handed sword. This would axe. What is an Ulfbert sword? Is that one-handed? Two-handed mace. Long sword. Um, throwing sickle. Can y'all help me out a little bit in chat? Like, what? What is like? Can I? Is, I need a. I need a one-handed sword. It's just not make. Let's just not make Bill soup. If Bill is good, I hope the crew will be good too. Um, iron claymore, battle axe. So what is an iron gusarm? Sharpened six, CX. Long, long bow, not a, not a long sword. I don't know why I said long sword. Um, this might be it, Elfbert. Kind of, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna learn one of these. I know this is cheesing, but I really don't know what, what some of these things are, and I don't want to learn how to make something. Um, and then find out it's not it's something I can't make Really don't have the the means to to do something like that So I'm gonna learn how to make an uh, uh, elf bart Unless a claymore is maybe the thing that a claymore sounds like two-handed these all sound like two-handed I don't know how to help honestly you're really in a bind. Yeah, I sure am so I'm gonna learn how to make an elf bart um, yeah, one-handed sword. The short sword is light and very sharp, but not terribly sturdy. Let's, uh, let's make it and we'll make it good. Mm. 
Nice. It was pretty good. Strength plus six slice skill. Level two required. That's fine. Um, we can make another one of those and sell one. I do need to get an apprentice, uh, like a, a, an experienced blacksmith going. What is it? An iron beck de Corbin. One handed mace. Interesting. Let's make one of those and then we'll sell it. And this will give us some extra knowledge points. I didn't do it very well. I didn't do a very good job. Progress made in your discoveries has earned you a knowledge point. Nice. Um, I don't have any enough iron or leather. I don't have enough leather to make anything else. But we can sell some of these stuff. I, I could maybe see if the iron uh, Beck de Corbin is worth something. It's worth 50 coins. Like the stuff I'm making is, is actually really worthwhile. Um, I definitely could do with some extra materials. I'll have a quick look and see if anyone can use this stuff. I know that um, Nevelina uses uh, Ornate Hammer, but it's plus seven uh, strength and has the Annihilation skill. Uh, and this is only plus six. It does have the Pound skill. Damage is increased by 50% if target is still has armor. Yeah, I think that what she has currently is good. So I'm going to go ahead and sell this. Um, it, 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 it will get a pretty penny. Um, repairing all of our gear would be kind of nice. Actually, you know what? Better than repairing our gear, let's see if we can heal. If we can go to the Apothecaris and get ourselves healed. Probably not, but I'll try it anyway. Heal all your companions' minor wounds. So, we'll, we'll, our minor wounds will get healed, but we're not going to get cured. Um, I'm not sure how to heal our major wounds. Oh, I guess that all of these wounds are just, um, carnivorous. Yeah. Beck de Corbin is French for Raven's Beak because the hammer part looks like one. Oh, neat. Crew has the plague after fighting some rats. I probably made the worst decision of choosing contents of my flask. Oh, no. Okay, so let's um, let's give Granoff a better weapon. They're gonna get a much better weapon. This is like just a vast improvement. Um, we can sell some stuff to the. We'll sell some stuff to the blacksmith. I really need to like pull us out of this hole right now. It's 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 like straight up not good. Um, all right. So I'm going to sell you my crappy ham uh, sword. And I guess I'll sell you my crappy farmer's rags as well. Maybe can we how much do we need? 40. We're we're pretty close. Is there anything else we could sell? We could sell some fish hooks. I kind of need those. I guess we can make more. You know what we could do? Let's, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to learn how to do restoration. Um, that'll be our second gimme there. And then I'm going to buy a couple of raw materials. And I'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we should be able to repair ourselves. Armor points restored 15. Um, yeah, we shouldn't need that many. And then I'm going to make camp. You got fireball in your flask. You've received a letter bearing the university seal. A client requests your presence at the Eduranian border crossing. Okay, interesting. Okay, I need you to repair our um, armor. Actually, I guess I can just like... Do I just look in here and then repair? Yeah, okay. Repair all for one. Repair all for one. Repair all for one. Okay, I think this was the right move. I just saved us a, a, a ton of money. Okay, we're fully repaired. Um, everyone's still got the plague. That's the next problem we need to solve. The next problem we need to solve is that everyone's got the plague and it's not okay. Um, so maybe we need to go to the inn and uh, find ourselves some new bounties.
bring uh, this message to the informant in Corsia. Bandit's lair is well guarded, but you will be paid handsomely to destroy it. We still need to do that. Oh yeah, Matthias Lund. There's the, that quest. Rat infestation is destroying our lands at night. We can hear piercing screeches. Didn't I already do this? I might... Oh no, it's southeast, not uh, northeast. Munwin's squad must have inconvenienced the wrong person and now someone is willing to pay to get rid of them. Let's take that. And we're going to neg negotiate. Um, let's do like 80%. Oh, I guess I wasn't able to negotiate. That sucks. Um, if I could buy some more leather, that'd be kind of nice. That hammer, there, our hammer is still at this guy, which is funny. Apple pancake. We need a loot. Okay, um, we're pretty much done. I can buy well I don't need to buy leather we'll, we'll depart it's a very spicy and rough drink fire are you talking about fireball I have had fireball it, it kind of tastes like licorice doesn't it I've never found uh, uh, to, to enjoy fireball very much Uh, we can't steal from here. Not really anything here we can we can grab. We can cut wood. I don't know why one would cut wood. Kind of wish we had like a mini map. No! No! I wasn't even in the fog! Aw, uh, come on! I wasn't even in the fog. Oh, we're we're screwed. I I might load. I might have to load. Th this is awful. We I did this once already and it was not good. Rip again. I wasn't even touching the fog. This is such actual garbage. Time to put those leg muscles to use. This isn't even my task, and I'm going to get absolutely destroyed. I don't know. See, it says number of enemy units nine. So I have to like, I don't know. I have to play stupid games, win stupid prizes here. Gain some extra valor. Ah. I, I highly resent what is happening here right now. Okay, there's another wolf. There's another wolf. And, and there's probably a boss as well. Remember that part. Okay, let's uh let's kind of group up a little bit hopefully i like the boss is also um they have ranged which is like extra annoying i'm gonna go ahead and raise morale here with cactus raise their protection as much as possible You can still attack with Porle after throwing in the poison. I can, but yeah, I, I wanted the, the Valor. Um, hence why I did that, yeah. 
Am I going to be able to hit this guy? I have a 33% chance of hitting that other guy. Okay, so let's uh, let's just like weaken this guy down a bit. Uh, and not spend her valor. Where did all my valor go? Did I sp I guess I spent a ton of it, huh? I'm going to come over here and uh, maybe I can kill this guy in one blow. Is the crew in the scary fog again? Yeah. Yeah, we are in the scary fog again. I was able to kill uh, that guy with one with one turn. That's actually really good. Oh, don't engage me out of the fog. Oh, you guys are absolute cheaters. Reinforcements are coming. So now we're up to 12 units. This is what happens. This is why, like, I, I hate this. I genuinely hate this combat because, first of all, I didn't, like... I didn't ask for this. Um, I guess I will fight this guy. Yeah, let's spend a, a point, our, our extra point and kill. Like, this combat is just like genuinely annoying because... Uh, what am I supposed to do? They just keep filling the, 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 the combat with more dudes. And we can get terrorized out of combat as well. And then eventually they throw in a boss and it's just like, what am I supposed to do exactly? Um, I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I'll just leave it at that for now. Six damage. If, uh, if I lose this, I'm going to load to, um, basically before I, I made that, the, the sword. I, I have a pretty, pretty convenient saving point, fortunately. Kill. Okay, that was, that was pretty good. So if I go here and then uh, do this, I might actually be able to get the second wolf in there. If they like do a U-turn and then go all the way around, I'm going to be kind of cheesed. <laughs> I won't lie. Um, you think Neville Wong is okay over there or should I send someone else in there? Probably he's not okay, but you know, no one's okay right now. Um, Cactus is engaged. I'm going to do a destabilizing kick. And I think we can kill him. I think I'm going to kill whenever I can possibly kill. What's your favorite dwarf class in DRG? Um, I guess the turret guy. Is it like the engineer? I guess I killed the dude that Mimesis was about to attack, so I'm hoping that they'll they'll come in a little bit. Oh my god, look at that. I'm just barely I, I, I just barely can't engage that guy and get the get the, the valor. Um I will say I'm not the biggest fan of DRG. I've really tried to enjoy that game, and I get why people like it, but I just don't think it's for me. So, uh, Nevalina is probably going to die. I, 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 I think I'm going to load. It's just, like, not worth it. I, I didn't want this combat. I actually tried to deliberately avoid it, because the fog is just death. Um... And I, I truly hate this combat. I, I think it's just really un, unreasonable. Nevelina is at one health. So um, if, if uh, you know, things don't change a little bit, then where is... Uh... Okay, there's Drino. So well, now the problem is, is I want to shoot this guy, but if I can't shoot this guy 
through them because then there's a good chance I'll hit them, right? 30% chance. What do you think? Okay, that's uh, we hit him. Now, the real issue here is that he's completely blocked off that area and now they're not going to move in. So what's up with the wildlife being all crazy nature murder hobos? Yeah, a little bit, huh? Wow, not dead, huh? Oh, I, d I shouldn't have done that. That was dumb. I need to allow my other units to actually come in and attack. See, this guy, as soon as he gets close enough, he's going to be able to do ranged attacks. I swear to God. Okay, uh, we're loading. I don't care. I I really don't like that combat. I think that, that I, th they're just being like an arbitrary trap in the fog like that is really frustrating. It's also really frustrating that you can't see the units coming towards you like you can with everyone else. Like, you know, you can, you can see the mercenaries on the map. You can't see the ghosts. You just get attacked and you're forced to go into that combat. Like you just, you just have to go into that combat. And I don't like that. I don't like that I'm really like given no choice about it. So we're gonna learn how to make this again and we're gonna go ahead and make that again. I'm sorry I have to I have to do this a little bit. I'm also sorry that you know I'm I'm being kind of down on the game a little bit right now, but it's it's kind of frustrating me. Oh, I almost got a perfect. I almost made it perfectly. I actually think it's worse than the first time I made it. And we're gonna go ahead and make this other one for some more knowledge. Oh, he actually made it perfectly that time. Uh, okay. So then we're gonna talk to the blacksmith and I'm gonna buy, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell um, this. And we're gonna buy a few of these. Um, I don't know if I need to buy any more than that. And then we're gonna leave. Um, then we're going to buy the restoration perk. And then we're going to repair everyone's gear. I'm going to save again. I am going to start to save scum, apparently. Because some of these combats don't make for very interesting stories. You know, like, uh, war tales, except for the, you know, like, the, the, you know, the tale isn't very good if, if I just get ambushed by ghosts. By ghosts, you know? Had low fantasy elements like Battle Brothers. Uh, you mean, like, the ghosts? Well, what do you mean by low fantasy? Okay, I need to heal everyone. Oh, I don't think I haven't. I think I... Okay, hold on. Let's um, give Gran off that sword. Equip the sword, and then we're going to sell this sword. And then we're going to heal everyone. Yeah, we barely have enough. Okay, good. Um, we're covering more or less all of our bases. Now we need to take a quest. I guess I'll be more um, careful of, of that the fog in the future. I That rat infestation was really unreasonable. Um, okay, we're, we're going to negotiate this time. Negotiate. Negotiation successful. Um, spend a bit more. Negotiate. Acceptable. Um, can we do, like, one more? Refuses your offer for... Mission Vanquish Squad and makes the counter offer for 137. Okay. Munwin Squad. We already took everything from this guy, right? Yeah. We could. No, we can't recruit anyone. We, we need more stuff. What does this guy have? Oh, this is just uh, another person. I always wish we could use some of the magical characters in Bra Battle Brothers in our teams. 
I really ought to give Battle Brothers an extra chance. I know it's good. Um, I just like I was I was kind of off put by the combat, but maybe I just didn't uh, didn't give it a chance. There's a very good mod called Legends. You probably know about it. Far worth checking out. What is that? You notice the fog is moving also? The fog is actually moving. Oh, I see. Is Are those the wolves there? Okay, so they actually are on the map. I'm, I was just wrong. So first of all, the, the fog moves. Wow, those guys got like destroyed. Okay, let's ambush them. I love Battle Brothers. Uh, I would I would like to check out Battle Brothers again. There's a you know honestly this is a weird thing, um, but like something that um, I it encourages me about Battle Brothers is how much extra content there is for it, like how much DLC there is. Actually, in a way, um, what I really appreciate about Battle Brothers is, um, like, how, uh, how, like, graphically unintense it is. There's some, it should be said, um, more often, I think, that I think that games that, um, I don't want to not do that now. Games that, uh, uh compromise its graphics a little bit are are really good in a way because they they mean that it means that they, they can they can do a bit more deep combat or deep like mechanics and stuff so i i can appreciate that about battle brothers i just i, I couldn't really like I, I need to give it another chance so i'm gonna run in with the um, cactus here and engage this guy for two reasons one it gets rid of that um, protection thing that everyone had going on um, and also because since he's engaged now Mimi's attack will um, for sure go off So I'm gonna run Mimi actually what I want to do is uh, What I'd like to do is run Neville in there This is a little bit dicey because uh, you know, I don't like I don't know at a certain point I can un accidentally hit my my allies so I don't want to do that. And actually, these guys are too close together. I don't think I can get Mimi close enough in there. So I might have her move instead. Uh, I'm not sure where Mimi is, is best going to be. I don't know if anywhere is going to be very good, to be honest. This raider does move next. So what I could do is I could put Neville here... No, I would really like to put him there, like right next to Munwen Bane. Um, so that he, this raider might move closer. Artwork of Battle Bros is awesome, though. Everything is hand-drawn. It is, but I mean, like, it's, it's like, at least it to me, it's obvious that it's got a very template style. Um, that's not a, that doesn't mean it's not good. It means that it's, um, you know, somewhat easier to reproduce it's like you can crank the the artwork out pretty quickly um whereas like for something like you know uh with with 3d models it takes a little bit longer to do some something uh new or original like you know you can't just like throw a dragon in war tales it, it's going to take a little bit longer you have to do like animations and all that stuff um you know i like the the art in battle brothers i just it's it's clearly um a compromise it's, it is more efficient, which is not, not to mean that uh, it's worse. It's just efficient. Um, I think I'm just going to run Neville in there and do some damage. The good news is that this guy's a hammer, bro. And uh, they're probably going to take a whole turn to wind up. Yeah, so I'm probably going to be able to kill them on the next turn. And then I guess uh, Mimi is going to go over here. I 
So what I'm thinking is I'm going to charge through this guy. And then this, this is a nice choke point. I'm going to do a nice um, attack like this. And we'll see if maybe we can get a couple of them to, to come towards her. I don't, they're both ranged users. So actually that, that like completely, complete waste of time. Yeah, I figured this guy was going to do some really nasty damage. I need to get someone else over there. Man, everyone is just like slightly out of sight. And I, I'm just like having the worst luck right now with this game. It's like, it's actually becoming a problem. <laughs> Every single combat, I'm just like slightly at a disadvantage. Let's throw some poison on these guys. Really wish I could get in there, but eh, it is what it is. Um, so I guess I'll come towards over here and uh, we'll do some damage over here. With Drino. Actually, I really should... Well, I don't have a good angle at all, so I'll, I'll pr likely hit Cactus. As a 3D guy, I would say 3D modeling and animation is far easier than what they did with the bros. I don't know. Who can say? Okay, um, I think I can just straight up kill this guy. Nice. Now Mimi, oh yeah, Mimi's, okay, so this is good actually. He came up right up to Mimi. Mimi doesn't need to do an a multiple, like hit multiple people with one attack every single time. Um, I'm going to move Granoff back over there. Yeah, he's going to do a ranged attack on Mimi, which, you know, surprise, surprise. Oh, wow. You know what? That's amazing. I can't believe that's uh, that was actually really nice. So now Mimi's going to be able to hit both these guys. Um, who's next? in? OK, so this guy is next in the turn combat. So let's do Mimi's attack. She's not going to be able to kill him, but she will do a nice chunk of damage. Let's just let's just rev up another attack here. Um, Mimi's not in a great situation. Oh, wow! Ouch. Okay, I might have to. Let's. We have uh, first aid. Let's run over here and do some first aid on Mimi. This is very rare that I actually get to use this. It really does like nothing. <laughs> it's honestly kind of flimsy um 100 chance to hit this guy he just went uh i'd like to hit someone who hasn't gone yet so they can get back into position so i'm gonna hit this guy instead and i'll go ahead and do another recoil shot unlock the trait giant what is what is giant Strength and dexterity increased by 5% when a two-handed weapon is equipped. Like a hunter's bow, you mean? Nice. Okay. Um, well, that's that's good. Now, Granoff... Can Gran Granoff can't get to anywhere useful, unfortunately. He could... No, he doesn't have that protection trait. That's, uh, that's someone else's. I need to get in here with Porlay and, and do some damage to this guy. And we'll throw another poison thing. Those stacks of poison are going to add up real quick. Or we'll get some more valor for that turn. This combat is not going well, considering, like, these guys are supposed to be pretty easy. Um, we're going to do an encouragement. Actually, I should have moved Granoff in first. That's fine. Drino is alive. The message that shows up once you join is new, right? It is new, yeah. I saw that as an option. I was looking through some of my YouTube options and I saw that was a thing I should I could set up. So I went ahead and did that. Please don't kill Mimi. Okay, Mimi has one health left. Um, 
This is not okay. Mimi is going to die. <laughs> I'm going to leave one Valor um, left because I could potentially heal Mimi with, uh, with Drino. Jesus. Granoff is like absolutely worthless this, this round. Who's next in the turn order? Oh god, Raider. He's gonna destroy Neville. Uh, okay, well, five damage. That's honestly... It could be so much worse. And he just took eight damage from poison. Um, 13. We can't kill him yet. Uh, I could try and kill him. I could kill him with uh, one, some with my with my valor. The problem with that is then I have no valor left to try and heal Mimi. But I could, since it's Drino who needs to get uh, use the um, bandage, I could use him. Uh, I could use him to uh, get a kill, maybe. So we have galvanization. This that it could potentially save us. Damage increased by fifty percent. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first of all, Mimi's. We have two turns here, so the first thing we're gonna do is coup de grace. Yeah. Um. Now she's not engaged in combat anymore. She can move out of the way here. Actually, this will do... No, we need to save that. No, actually, we don't. I'm going to move through this guy. Oh, that'll kill him? That's actually fine. We Killing him is good. We need to kill him. So Mimi's safe now. Uh, amazing. Uh, so we don't really need to worry about anyone over there. Cactus, um, I don't think we, I don't think Cactus is, is actually in trouble. For once, for once, uh, Cactus is not in, like, mortal danger. We can do a Wrath. I and mean, we killed him, nice. I'm colorblind, what did you expect? It's nice to see a two-hand buff that applies to bows, crossbows, anything else than a heavy melee weapon. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, actually. We, we got a felling axe. Oh, and human remains. Those might come in handy. <laughs> uh, we are a little bit over encumbered right now. I'm going to take the human remains. I know that's weird. We can heal everyone with one medicine, apparently. We can't repair all, unfortunately. What is this? All your items are stored in... Oh, are we over-encumbered? Apparently we are over-encumbered. I guess I have to drop those human remains. Shucks. Is there something else I can accomplish over here? Not really. It's amazing to me how much of this game I've been spending... Like, trying to dig myself out of a hole. Like, I've just spent, I've spent the entire game trying desperately to pull our, pull us out of this hole that we're in. It's miserable. Can we? Okay, thank you. Okay, so first of all, let's hand in that quest. Did Mimicis just stomp that fella? A little bit, yeah. Collect bounty. Do we have any new quests? Bring this message to the informant in Corsia. I mean, that is an option. We have to go southwest. I do have to take care of this bandit's lair, but it's hard, and I, I really don't... Like, we're not even doing well at easy quests right now. So uh, I'm not feeling super good about our sitch. Um, I think what we should do is I'm going to buy some uh, leather, and I'm going to make some more weapons.
I could sell, we can sell this plague leather. Perhaps someone knows how to refine it. Uh, if someone knew how to refine it, that'd be kind of cool. I'm amazed too, very different from when I tried it, not a dig at you. Uh, yeah, no, no worries. Okay. I want, I need to get our blacksmith to like apprentice. Is there anything I can make an iron ax? I haven't made this one before. We're running out of wood, unfortunately. <sighs> I always go a little bit too quickly. Uh, I wish I knew, like, how, how do I find out, like, how close he is to leveling up? Is there anything I haven't made? No, I've made everything. Okay. Um, who is our... Okay, Cactus. How do I know how close you are to leveling up? Okay, so he needs a lot of experience still before he can get to the next blacksmithing level. Jeez, that's a long grind. Okay, um, I need probably at least six raw materials, but I'm pretty sure we make two for free. So, um, your troop optimizes the use of repair materials. Repair materials restore five additional armor points. Uh, that could be kind of worth it, actually. Except for the fact that I'm pretty sure we're already doing, like, the maximum. Like, armor... Yeah, we do 15. I guess at a certain point we'll get better armor, and so that'll be worth it, but I don't think it's worth it right now. So, we make two raw materials. Um, our repairs only cost 12. Actually, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. Raw materials are, are useful because we can use them in the wild. I'm leaving guys, gotta work. It was nice to meet y'all. Uh, definitely will be coming back. All right, thank you very much, Marin, for hanging out. I hope you uh, have a good day. Hope work goes well. Can I buy wood here? No. Okay. Um, we have enough food for once. Um, we could buy some salt. I guess we have enough salt. What about this guy here? Can, do you have anything good? Perch. We can't really do anything with perch. We could do something with mutton, but I'd have to spend a knowledge point on learning how to use mutton. Uh, you know what I should do is buy a couple of cures. This is going to take just forever because I just don't have enough money. Um, these are... Oh, they're so expensive. I hate that so much. Why is it so expensive to get cured? Deals 80 to 100% strength damage to the target. I'm wondering if Iron Axe might be better for someone. Like maybe even Mimi. Um, strength 4. This is strength 6. Oh, Mimi cannot equip this type of weapon. Um... Can anyone? What about Nevelina? Can cannot use this. Who can? I, I'd like uh, I'd like some information about who can use this weapon. It it just straight up doesn't say. I, I think that that needs to be remedied. Um, I'm pretty sure that no one can use this. Okay, no one can use it, so I'm selling it. Sucks. It, it looks like a good weapon. Uh, and then the felling axe. We'll sell that. Um, so we can buy some cures. So many people are, are infected. I don't know. Does this like eventually go away? I wonder. Nice to meet you, Mary. How are you? Appoint lieutenant. We need more. Bill is currently our, our, like, captain. Having a lieutenant might be nice. I don't know why we, we would want a lieutenant, but... Anyone know what determines who can wield what? I have no idea. It's like, you know, they have a, a certain, like, arbitrary title. 
and that determines but I, I don't know how to figure that out okay we can eat rats and stuff can't really eat uh, bread everyone's a uh, carnivorous right now small chunk of wild game We'll eat this and then one rat. <laughs> I'm assuming, I'm hoping. Oh, our happiness dropped. Yeah, we're not we're not very happy right now. We did make some raw materials though. Um let's let's cure some people. Let's cure Gran off. Let's cure uh, Mimi and Parlay. I'm not playing favorites here. I'm just kind of picking DPS. What would Pony name be? Pony name is Bill. Pony has been named. Twilight Sparkle. We need a second pony for Lieutenant. Oh, I see. You guys want a second pony? I can buy a second pony. I just don't know why I would. Okay, let's check out this abandoned tower. Yes. You guys want a second pony? Okay. Hand over a prisoner. We do need to get a prisoner. How do we get a prisoner? Used to shackle a prisoner after capture. How do we how does one capture a prisoner? Oh, okay, there's some prisoners we could capture. Maybe? I don't know. We have a hundred wages to pay that I can't pay right now. Raider. These guys should be very easy. They have very little health. Um... Henchman, henchman. Okay, let's, uh, let's get Mimi in a good position or is Mimi um okay let's yeah over here is not terrible and Mimi and Porlay are bad um are, are bad company so let's get a me uh, Porlay works best with cactus so let's get like Nevelina or yeah Nevelina and Mimi together should be fine and let's get Granoff, Reno, and Cactus grouped up like that. Oh, I'll just put Porlay in the middle here, and that should be okay. Could potentially hit these two guys with poison. I don't think that that would be necessarily very good. Um... So what I'd like to do... What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up to this guy and engage him in combat. Um, we could weaken him as well. Why not? I guess we could kill him, why not? Sure. Killing someone on the first turn feels pretty good. I vote we steal food from starving refugees. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, what we want is this henchman to come over here, yeah, and engage uh, Nevelina. This is good, because then we can move in with Mimi. And the idea here is that we want to catch this guy 
in a blow and also just like maximize the amount of radius around Mimi that someone else could like come in like we want someone to come in here hopefully this raider in fact this raider would be perfect because he has to also wind up at an attack don't okay i swear to god i was like if you engage parlay i'm gonna be cheesed okay we're gonna come in with cactus and engage this guy good stuff encouragement might, might be good Give, give everyone a bit of protection. This guy is great because he's going to wind up an attack. Actually, that's not good because Cactus is already engaged. So um, we'll come in here. We're going to do some attack. We should be able... Oh, Lively. Porlay got a new trait. Strength and dexterity increased by 5% when a one-handed weapon is equipped. Well, it is. But I wonder if we gave him a second dagger. Oh, you know what? Porlay really needs a new weapon. Porlay really needs a new weapon. If we, I wonder if Porlay could uh, dual wield. Can make what the heck is this garbage? Like what is that? There's a Mimi right in front of him, and he does this like acrobatics around her, and instead attacks Nevelina. That's yeah, that's the stuff I'm talking about. I mean, these guys are brigands, so it might make sense, but it's still like I just think it's they're too smart. Um, okay, let's, uh, oh, you know what? Let's come over here and attack this raider and then taunt them. Uh, I thought that that would force them to engage with me. I guess not. Okay, we'll just kill them. That's fine. Why would they even have food if they are starving? I suggest eating the refugees themselves. Did you know that one refugee is 80k calories? Not eating them is killing gains of the party. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, just wow, guys. Just incredible stuff we are doing and saying today. 100%. Oh, we could probably kill this guy. Yeah, let's kill them. We gain that valor back for free. I think it would kill morale more. It would certainly kill moral. See, see what I did there? That's pretty good, right? So the problem is, is Cactus can't really engage anyone in combat. We need him to walk out of the way here. You can't really reach anyone either. So I think he'll just do... Eh, I guess this is, the, yeah, this is a temporary Valor. Give everyone some protection. And we can have Adreno um, do a pretty weak hit. 74. We don't want to do that. We'll just hit this guy. I guess hitting them with Adreno uh, actually shakes them out of their their uh, their attack um granoff can you go anywhere yeah you can go over here let's weaken this guy up a bit and he's surrounded now i guess uh this guy's available so we could have um someone engage oh never mind henchman has uh, engaged drino so that sucks for me raider is next um let's have Let's have Mimi pull off her attack here. Yes. Kill. Galvanization. This guy is about to do some nasty damage to Nevelina. Um, not much I can do about that. Six damage. I mean, that's fine. Just soften him up. Wow! 22 damage. Good lord. We'll get some extra valor from this.
Good joke, Bimple. Love it. <laughs> we were so nice for so long. Gotta balance things out. I mean, I'm still kind of keeping things together in terms of our, our like morale. Moral. This is Porlay again. We could maybe get a lucky kill here. Yay! Lucky kill! Yay! And then we're gonna just knock this person out of their attack. We could probably kill them. Yeah, we, we definitely can. We'll get that Valor back. Alright, so this is, uh... Do you want to let them go and win the battle? Mm. How do we capture them? How does one capture someone? I'm a 10, do you know? Ouch. Um, hmm. I don't think there's any way to do it. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to do it. I do. I need, I guess I need someone to equip the, the, the shackles. Is that what's up? We got a renegades two handed hammer, which is worth something. Wow, a lot of uh, materials are going to be used here. That was like scarcely worth it, honestly. I have to pay wages. Everyone's going to be really annoyed with me. They didn't take the money, did it? That didn't take that mo the money? Uh, no, it, it should have. What is that? Woodland farm. This isn't really where I want to be. I wanted to find the tower. Do you have anything? Plague rat bit my husband while he was out chopping wood and storm Stromcap has cast us out ever since I've had a very hard time finding enough food for him. I have nothing to offer in return, but could you take care of him? I heard what my wife told you. She's right, you know. I will eventually turn against her. Do you want... Do what you must. So we get inflict, infected blood... Or recruit for five, five carcass. Okay, so we get a free recruit. A new, huh? Uh, we get someone for, for giving up our carcass, but they are, um, they are infected. They, uh, are, they, they're not worthless. I don't know. Use a lockpick. We don't have any lockpicks. May the all-seeing eye give me the strength to go on living without him. Rope is for capturing animals, chains is for capturing humans, and others you might find in the tombs. Your lad needs to have rope or chain in their inventory. Enemy must be engaged in melee with other merc and be below 50%. Okay, so I have to have someone equipping it. Well, let's give it to Mimi, because Mimi doesn't always need to be in combat. Um, where do I put this? Does it need to be in their other hand? Maybe Porlay needs to have this. This item cannot be equipped. Um, used for, sh to used to shackle a prisoner after capture. So it may be that I have to do something, use something else to capture them first. Who wants to be the new, uh, the new, the new joiner? Who wants to be Taurus? Oh, they can use an axe. Oh, if only I had kept that one axe. I guess I can make another one. It's not a big deal. 
but they're they're an axeman a warrior we have a warrior now nice man i have i have so many bills to pay to to get out of this hole really don't know how to get up to this tower i feel like the tower is like on the mountain can we go this way doesn't look like it me i'm a 10 do you do you want it to just be called i'm a 10 or do you want it to be like i i'm a warrior or something i'm a ret i the flesh-eating zombie i love it oh we have to make camp it's really not good could go kill those uh pigs i'm sure we could get some more food and some i guess i didn't get any leather from killing the boars did i i got a lot of other stuff but not not leather okay we're making camp i the plagued but you're not always going to be plagued Manage companion. Capture. Chains. Oh, okay. Uh, alright. I guess that's how you use the chains, but I need to figure out how to... I guess you can use you use the rope on people as well. I the tarnished. We can make him a berserker. Deals three times more 2-3 damage to the target. Gains fury. Damage of the next attack increased by 50%. Executioner deals two damage to all the units in the target area. Uh, attacks one time for each unit in the target area. All allies engage in combat gain riposte. Um, they're engaged. This unit is attacked by their engaged opponent. They're parry. They parry with an attack of opportunity. Cancelled if the unit moves. Um, this seems really good. Cost two valor though. Could be situationally amazing. I, I wish I didn't always have these three options for level three. Scared the enemy. I'm gonna I'm gonna take Sentinel. Uh, unit gains deflection if they are engaged in combat. Every time an attack hits several enemies, no, I I think that uh, Valor Steel is still still the way to go. Um, we're going to give them constitution for now. Wait a minute. Can I do it multiple times? No, I can only do it once. Okay, so they've got a ton of a constitution. You have an option to knock out when conditions that I described above. Chains for human ropes. Chains for humans, ropes for animals. Well, I, I didn't have that option, and I have the chains, and I don't have any means of equipping them. So I, I don't know. I, I straight up just don't know how it works then. Um, let's eat our pork. A hey, 17. Yeah, everyone's gonna be really mad at me, but that's fine. Did someone, some research the lady at the jail also sell a tinkering blueprint called the stock to prevent prisoners from escaping? Did some research. Oh, the lady at the jail also sells a tinkering blueprint called the stock to prevent prisoners from escaping. Well, okay, I mean, I appreciate that. Um,. But I need to figure out how to capture them in the first place. I don't know. I don't know how to capture them. Is the issue right now? I'll I'll go back to the uh, I'll go back to the the prison. It's not too far from here, and apparently I don't I don't know how to get to this tower. 
This tower has cost me a lot of time, I won't lie. Uh, not equipping it, just having it in the inventory is enough. Well, um, I, I don't know what's up then. I, I don't know what's up because I had it equipped and I, I, it did not give me the option at any point. It's probably that I didn't, I just didn't notice it, but I, I was keeping an eye out for it. But I'm going to go back to the prison just to see what's up. Maybe they have, um, maybe the, the blueprint uh, answers some questions. Ether. Chances to knock out an animal increase by 15. So that's not, not it. The hemp rope is used to make bows as well as gear for navigation and climbing. Hand over prisoner. If we could hand over, oh no, we can't hand over the dude. Capturing animals, by the way, befriend them, and they will fight alongside of you. Wow. That's kind of cool. That's, that's nifty. Ugh, okay. Oh, these are, these are these lads. Um, reward promised five leather. I could always use some more leather, but I really don't want to do this right now. I have like other things I need to do. Um, the refugee leader awaits you in the Haven. Lund farm. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit at loss right now. I can't get, um, I, like, I don't have any missions outside of this one. And this one is just, like, way too far. I don't have enough food. Rude mother friend, friend when, yo. Um, yeah, we could try and get a, uh, whatchamacallit. We could make I'm a ten. What 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 profession do you want? Options available are thief, which I, I guess I answered my own question. Maybe bard or scholar. Scholar um, would probably be very useful. I was thinking like we could go to the dungeon and try and learn more about the dungeon, the Tiltron dungeon that I, I checked out last week, the tomb. Tiltern Tomb. Um, but outside of that, I really don't know. Like, we're, we're, we're out of money. <laughs> you could check out the unexplored area southeast of the prison. That's all mountain. That's kind of where I'm trying to go now, except I don't know how to get up the mountain. It might be that I have to go over here. But, like, I, I'm running out of food and time and and my crew is already starting to get miffed because i haven't paid them bard you want to be a bard all right uh maybe that raises morale maybe when we make camp we can uh we can we can sing a song Okay, I have figured out how to get up the mountain. So I need to get to that quest. What is this? Oh god. Level 3 deserters. Uh, this is probably going to be awful. We do have a we have someone new, so I mean like maybe it'll be it won't be bad, but um yeah, I'm not feeling super good about this. So we have 3 over here. There's only seven of them. The problem is I don't know where most of them are. What is this? Spear throw. Deals 12 damage to the target. Okay, um... Let's, like, group everyone up over here. 
I put Dreen, uh, Drino in the mud because he's the only one who can do ranged. And I'm plagued. Uh, I'll put Mimi in the front there. Okay, I'm not sure how this is going to go. I will produce sweet Ima tunes. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned that there's like people hiding in here. I just kind of want to like delay my turn. I wish I kind of wish that delaying my turn was like available. What I might just do is like um set up an attack. There's seven of us now, yo. Yeah, there's there's someone hiding in the fog. They did a critical, and, and I'm bleeding. I don't know if this attack is going to hit him. You would think that it would, but who can say? I love the situation I am constantly in, where I'm just, like, exactly, like, uh, an inch away from being able to attack someone. Okay, so there are people hiding in the fog. Weakening them. Nice. How are you even typing this? Do you keep copying it? What? So Neville is engaged with that guy. Um, I'd like to do some damage to this henchman over here. Would also like to, you know, just check out that there's no one else in the fog there. Looks like th that's true. Um... I didn't check to see how what my odds were of hitting him were. 100%. Okay, cool. Okay, let's actually leave it at that. I don't want to spend all my valor necessarily. Um Okay, let's surround this guy over here. I'm not sure can we like flank him? We got a crit on him, that's good. Um, okay. Surround him. I'm not gonna worry about the Valor. We're just gonna kill him. Parlay is gonna do some nice damage. These, those guys over there are going to take their time. Uh, Imatan is going to get to do his first attack. Mm. I'm a little bit worried that him being there is going to put him in range of that attack. Not sure. Yeah, it looks like it will. <laughs> Imatan's attack is uh, I'm a weak. Okay, we are in um, the next round. So who's up? This the raider is up next. So we got to move two people out of the way. So let's move Neville Wong out of the way. We're going to move behind him and do some attacks on him. We'll even uh, we'll, we'll use some valor and weaken him up a bit. I might, uh, I don't really want to try and kill him with, with Imatan. Wow, Mimi's, at uh, Mimi's attack just isn't going to do anything yet. Um. Can I, like, yeah, if we move, like, here, it's kind of a waste of a turn, but it's something, and I, 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 you know, saved myself from making, taking a, a hit. Okay, so you have to switch over, this is good. Uh, again, we could come up to him and surround him. And maybe we can kill him. I'm also a bard. I have a plague. What did you expect? 
So things are going pretty well right now. I'm pretty sure we're going to reach galvanization soon. This guy is next. Um, we want him to move up. So I'm just going to take... Uh, I'm going to use Aldri uh, um, Andrino to do some hits on him. Now we can't hit him, unfortunately. And we maybe... No, we can't. Okay, we can't do anything. Okay, that's fine. Let's actually just move him away, because I don't want him to, like, accidentally become a target for something. Now, we want you to move up. Good. Uh, maybe not good, actually. Well, uh, Mimi actually gets to use her attack, which is good, but she doesn't get to, uh... She doesn't get the Valor. Uh, we need to back her up a little bit, I think. This is only, not, it's only going to do 8 damage. It would be enough to weaken him, but not enough to kill him. Let's just back her up, and then we're going to put ourselves in a position where we can, like, surround people. Who's next? This guy over here. That's fine. What? Why did she take 6 damage? Oh, she's bleeding. Uh, she takes she took a lot of damage from from moving. That was not a smart move on my part. Um so at this point, who's who's left? Let's do an encouragement. The only one who's not going to get encouraged is uh is Drino. Why you can find a recipe for a loot in cursed villages. Wow, okay. So this guy just like... Nonchalantly set everyone on fire. I keep discovering like these new moves in the worst circumstances. So I need to get these guys out of the fire. Uh, I'm not sure how to un loses 15% of their maximum health fire spreads to adjacent units at the end of their turn removed if a skill is used and moves the unit uh, I, I don't know how to take care of that so you know we're, we're just kind of screwed we're just on fire Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's not going well. This guy's going to walk into the fire, which is kind of nice. How is the snowy ground burning? Immersion ruined. Do some extra damage to this guy. Um, Granoff. Yeah, we're gonna end Granoff's turn. It, it, it's not good right now. Is he gonna do another stupid move? Oh my god. Okay. Well, I actually thought that maybe we could get through this, but if we're on fire and taking, like, a, you know, damage every single round, then, uh, I, I don't think, I don't think we're, we're gonna make it through this. Because that means we have to engage them. Which gives them a distinct advantage. Um, I mean, we could kill this guy. Nope. This guy's on fire, fortunately. Wow, he accidentally killed his friend. That's that's a stroke of good luck. And we get some extra valor for him engaging Cactus. That was actually really good. Uh, Mimi, you have to... You're just gonna have to run away. Mimi is too low health. Oh, wait, you're bleeding. Did I just kill Mimi? I, I just... I just killed Mimi. Um... Yeah, I, I feel like I'm getting kind of screwed in this game a little bit. This is poor Lay. Poor Lay needs to not go right now. Is poor Lay the only one who hasn't done anything?
Mimi's alive. Mimi's alive, but just barely. Um, we need... Where's Cactus? Cactus is down here. Where's... Okay, where's Granoff? Granoff is here. We need to come here and, like, engage someone. Nice. Um, give him some protection. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I just, just, um, okay. Yeah. I accidentally hit the, uh, the disengage button. This is good. That, that snaps him out of his move. Need to get them out of the fire. I, I have to assume getting them out of the fire is good, but like it almost seems to not matter. Let's just kill this guy. Mimi dying is a reset. I don't care if anyone other anyone else dies. This is good. These guys are so tanky. I just don't have the means. If I could kill like one more unit, I could get galvanization and that might give me a chance. When an enemy has less than half of their health left, use chains or rope to capture them. Place one of your units next to an engaged enemy to try. Oh, okay, there we go. There it is. Knock out an enemy while they are engaged with an ally. They will be taken prisoner after combat ends. There we go. That hammer uh, had a fun little animation. Okay. Wait, I managed to stun someone. Uh, unfortunately, that that's not good for us because now we don't get galvanization. Nevelina is going to die from being on fire. Whose turn is it? Just, just me, Mimi's. Um, Mimi is dying. Okay. Uh, that's a load. I, I, you know, I'd love to entertain something here, but is it, how long ago did I load, did I save? I actually don't even know. Can you still heal with Andrino? Is it, the problem is that, um, uh, Mimesis is that, First of all, no, he was way too far away and he was in mud and also everyone was on fire. Everyone was on fire, so I, I, I don't think I could have salvaged this situation. Um, I don't know where we're at at this point. So we don't have Imatan, so that's that sucks. We lost Imatan. Um, I don't even know where Imatan was. I think he was like somewhere all over here. Um, also, I think this is before I bought antidotes. When was this? I don't know when this was. Rip. Yeah, I mean, it, it just kind of sucks. I'm, I'm being thrown into a lot of these situations that I, I can't really deal with yet. Disintegrates into dust. Um, trying to figure out what, where even am I at this point? Is this before I did one of the, like, an entire quest? I feel like there's no autosave in this game, and maybe for good reason. Um, no, we... Oh yeah, Munwin Squad. That was so. This is before we did an entire quest. So yeah, uh, I think that's gonna do it for War Tales for today. I don't like. I'm 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 okay to pick up the pieces next week, but it's been rough today, and I don't feel like repeating a whole bunch of combat. At least not right now. Um, this is like yeah, this was a long time ago.
I should have saved maybe when I like got some of those antidotes. Um, I will, we'll, we'll get I'm a tan again or I'm a plagued again. Um, but I, I, I have to call it for now. Save and, um, quit. And, uh, I'm going to move on to weird West. That's, we, we did three hours of that anyway. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do some weird West. I'll be right back. I'm going to hit the washroom real quick. You can try playing Iron Manish. You can flee if crap gets tough. The only reset I accept is Mimi dying. Mimi was about... Mimi literally died. Mimi did die. 